And if I held you back, at least I held you close. Man, that looks sexy. Alright ladies and gentlemen, let's quick- oh, what the fuck? Alright, let's quickly talk. So Rex Orange County just dropped his new album, The Alexander Technique, and um, I'm, I'm gonna go through all of the songs that I think- they, how many is it? 14 songs or something like that? 16 songs. Um, I, I wrote down a couple of things, like a couple of bullet points for each one of them. Let me preface this by saying that this is probably his like deepest album, The Alexander Technique. It kind of like revolves around therapy anyway. Alright, let's go through every single one of them. There has been three singles, that would be Alexander, Guitar, song and also the table let's go through one by one very minimal instrumental great intro right uh, i feel like this would only really go well the song would only really go well for like if you listen to the whole album because uh you get more context out of it like i said it's very minimal and it, it works. It works because at the end, it like goes full circle. But anyway, he was pretty much beefing with the doctor the whole time uh, about like how he doesn't understand Rex and Rex is being like, oh, you know, it's probably just because I didn't want to hear what I didn't want to hear. The guitar on this, I mean, it's a it's called guitar song, so obviously the guitar is going to be very pretty. A lot of it revolves around insecurity and self-doubt. Even though she validates Rex, um, it's still like, I don't know, it's still not enough, right? This is probably the best one out of the whole album because I think it like I think it, it it's a groove. It's a groove, bro. I don't even know how to say it. It feels like a it feels like a slick back version of uh, Sunflower, like the like the main instrumental part, not the beginning. It's very nice. It talks about the simpler times, just kind of like a self reflection of like, oh, you know, this is the time when I was the only ten and simple times, like I said, and uh, listening to music in the back of the car. I mean, you could probably gather what this song's about. This one talks about his, like, coming up into the music scene. With a lot of people that get popular and stuff, a lot of them really don't like it, because, you know, it's a, it's a big transition from, you know, being a normal person, I guess. Normal in terms of you don't have the spotlight on you, to having a spotlight on you, right? He kind of deduces it by saying, like, I'd rather have these streams and have a boring life. I mean, pretty much saying that even though it's a bit rough, it's, you know, it, it could be worse because at least I have these streams, right? A bunch of shout outs he talks about. Uh, I believe that was in 2023 he said that. He's had a lot of changes and um, he just wanted to shout out a lot of people in his life. Um, family, Steve, Linda, um, Damien. And at the end of the song, what he really just wants is just peace, which... Honestly, yeah, that's probably the most relatable thing he said in that song. Four in the Morning is one of the shorter songs here. It's so self-explanatory that I'll just read the lyrics to you. Yeah, walking around at four in the morning, turning it down because there's already noise in my head. I should be going to bed, speaking to people I don't want to speak to, wishing I didn't have to do the things I, that I do. What if I wasn't me? No. And someday I'll come forth and show a different side and people will look at me and see the person I wish they'd really see. It's really me, just a boy. It's not easy to explain or comprehend. I'll come out a stronger man. I know even though I tried my hardest, something still gets in the way, overthinking things when it's late. Pretty relatable, big guy. I think the humming in the beginning is really nice on this. The humming is probably just him like walking around and like humming to himself because he said turn the music down because he's already there's already a noise in his head. What do you think this song is about? I couldn't tell you. Jealousy, insecurity, and comparison. He talks about this lover that he's got. He loves her a lot, but at the same time, it's hard because he thinks that, you know, he's not enough. He compares himself to other people, to other dudes that, like, don't matter at the end of the day. Preparing for the worst, but it never comes. Preparing for maybe he, she cheats or she leaves but it never happens because it's literally all is that he's very jealous in this relationship but you know it, it, he's at least trying that's what he says right and he understands that it's bad the violin on this is really nice he starts creeping in the violin like slowly until i think i don't know what song it is uh one of these days i'll talk about that in just a second but uh yeah he starts creeping in the violin a little bit 2008 by the way let me just go back really quickly 2008 definitely feels like uh who cares <laughs> I don't understand how the hell he thought of this, bro. Like, what was he smoking? He looked at a table and he's like, you know what? What's the, 
what's the wood? And where did that wood come from? What tree did it come from? Were there two lovers? It's like, Jesus, really? What the heck? The table has probably the best, like, guitar work I've heard in this album. Alright, hold on. It's nice. It's really nice. He talks about the table, of course, and you know what tree it came from. Were there lovers there? Like, what were they doing? Kind of looking at them in an outside perspective. Kind of like a fly on the wall, you know what I mean? He closes this by saying, sometimes I feel like the tree. Sometimes I feel like the tree, and you know, he's kind of looking at these two lovers like, man, I wish I had that, you know? That, that type of perspective, and you know, or maybe not. Or maybe he's just looking at them, like, happily. <laughs> The violins come back on this one again. Uh, the violins get a little bit stronger. Yeah, there's more violin on this, and um, I think on this song, it's probably his hardest song to sing in the album. By the way, he's got a baritone voice. He goes to a couple of high notes on this one, like full chest voice, I think. I don't like that, what the hell? This whole song is about two lovers falling apart and then eventually coming back together and him like trying not to think about like the past and stuff and just kind of realizing that hey I want to live in the present right now and just kind of enjoy this moment pretty cute stuff pretty pure yeah <laughs> The violins start coming in, and um, that reminds me of Pluto Projector a little bit because of, you know, the violins at the end. One of these days, like, is probably, like, the closest thing to Pluto Projector we got in this album. It's really pretty. You guys gotta listen to it. This song talks about just, like, um, it's just, it's a life cycle. Like, this, the, the whole, the whole, the circle of life, you know, how you start off in the beginning, with, you know, the people around you, according to him. And then at the end, he talks about, like, you know, before you go, like, do you, do you know the, the, the meaning of life? He also talks about, like, the love of your life that you're gonna hold until, you know, both of you are dead. It's a cute little story of just, you know, of life. <laughs> Talks about the accusation that he had around the time when he released uh, Who Cares, where you know, I, I believe it was sexual assault. Obviously now it's it's been a while and uh, you know it's been dropped for a while, but uh, he talks about it and how it like kind of destroyed him mentally. Okay, I looked up a Carrera, right? It's either a bike or a Porsche. I think he is talking about the Porsche because at the end here he talks about like he jumped in his Carrera. Apparently he failed his test for speeding, so I'm sure he, I think he's talking about the car. But it also says something along the lines of uh, I dreamt of all my freedom, jumped in my Carrera, then I realized I was dreaming. But then after he says I failed my test for speeding, so it's like does he actually have a Carrera or not? Kind of like the last song about the life cycle. Uh, this one talks about the life cycle of his accusation and like that whole phase in the beginning of the song is you know it talks about like how he you know he found out about that accusation all that kind of stuff and then at the end 6 30 p.m apparently he gets a call that it's all over <laughs> much too much is a very groovy track um i'm not entirely sure what it's all about uh, i'm not gonna lie to you i believe this is talking about recovery but i could be like way off recovering from like some form of trauma i believe a breakup i think i think this is a breakup and how like he was he's recovering from it but i could be wrong like i said i'm not entirely sure this is keep in mind this is my first listen to this so let's just talk about the instrumentals i guess uh very groovy very 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 groovy i'm not gonna lie in the beginning he had this like really like weird pitched vocal I guess it almost like he's using like a different microphone. It sounds like a baby. I didn't like it in the beginning, but it makes sense because at the end it went back to normal. Like, I didn't, so it was done on purpose. It wasn't just like a vocal mistake or like they lost the microphone that they usually have or something. The only thing I could talk about on this song is uh, the piano is. I think this could be about the accusation as well, but the whole song just feels like a raw recording. It feels like they just, you know, they were in the studio and they just wanted to record it and put it on Spotify, right? Very nice. Very nice too. Look Me In The Eyes, uh, this is with James Blake. This is probably the closest my eyes started to sweat. This one's a rough listen, I'm not gonna lie, but, but I will say the harmonies, chef's kiss again. James and Rex kind of go back and forth and it's beautiful. Talks about a falling apart and uh, maybe eventually like they see each other somewhere. They, they smile at each other, all that kind of stuff. It, it is a gorgeous track. <laughs> New Year's. Uh, this is pretty relatable because it's like, especially this year, not because of the whole, oh, I'm going into this year with you, whatever that kind of stuff. I'm talking about, he mentions that the, the year is so quick. 
the year is going by so quick and it's i mean it's true pretty groovy too like that don't don't like pretty a little fast paced very nice Finally is the last song on the album. Remember in the beginning of this album, I mentioned like it's pretty bare bones, just the piano, barely even playing the piano and just him like, you know, explaining everything in the album, therapy, all that kind of stuff. This is like the opposite. This is the full circle moment. The beginning he went into therapy and then now he's, I think he's, is he out of therapy? And then I'm not sure if he's out of therapy already. But let me see. I think he's done with therapy on this, I think. You know, his body wants to give up, but he won't. He's, like, finally feeling really good. He's out of this horrible stage in his life. Uh, I'm guessing, again, about the accusation. I'm trying to get back to who I was before the discussions. Yep, it, yep, it's the accusation. To accompany that great feeling, he's got the, he's got the instrumental, like, it's, it, it's fire. In Genius, it says that there's another song after this called Drama, but I don't know about that. Overall, I've been recording for 27 minutes. Uh, overall, I think this album's great. Definitely deep. So I think if you want to go into this, I think you'd, you know, you, you should pay attention to the lyrics more. If you want to listen to some, just, just some grooves, 2008's definitely the one. This could either, you know, go down or go up. But right now, I'm feeling a solid seven. Transition. Hello. Today's actually the day where I'm gonna be uh, fixing the cars. So. so no longer will I need to suffer with this ABS situation, which is a good thing, of course. All right. After a couple of hours of uh, just doing some straight hard work, finally got the the, the rotor. No, sorry, the wheel bearing done. I've been saying rotor for the longest time, but it's actually not. It, like I said, it's uh, it's the wheel bearing. It was so corroded. That's what made it horrible. It was so corroded. They've never, they've definitely never changed the wheel bearings before, or at least like I'm talking like the previous owners, right? Like they've never changed it. I guarantee you that. So when we got in there, it was it was so it was so corroded. We had to use this one power tool. It's kind of like a like a mini jack. Like a mini jackhammer, just a bit rough, a bit rough. You know what matters is it's all done. Now we just gotta work on the spark plug and hopefully that should be should be smooth sailing. It's not gonna be easy, but I'm sure it won't be as bad as the wheel bearing. Success, success. <laughs> All right, now we got all this stuff taken care of. You know, it's all fixed. So let's just see if it still like hitches. It still does. Okay, can I set cruise control now? Wait, why is it? Oh my god, it's done. Oh, it's fixed. This is this is perfect, ladies and gentlemen. We were in the garage and the lights were all on, but right now, like, it's it's all gone. One big indicator of this, the it, it actually is fixed, is the steering wheel. Oh my god, perfect. Uh, because of this whole ABS system, the tire pressure gauge, like, the, tr the tire pressure sensor light came on, and that is still, that's still on. But besides that, everything else is gone. So once we get the oil change taken care of, we'll also get the tire pressure stuff. We'll also get the tire. Oh, it's gone. It just disappeared. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, bang, we are back in business. All right, boys, while I'm posing, obviously I don't, I have, my, I have sweatpants on, so I'm not going to be able to do lower body, but I just want to quickly talk about uh, this whole weekend stuff going on right now. Uh, the weekend just released his album cover, and oh my God, I'm beyond excited. He's looking like a douchebag on it. I'm not even going to lie. And he's playing new songs. He just played Take Me Back to LA, and now he's playing a new song right now. So if you guys don't know, uh, weekend's dropping a new album here soon look up hurry up tomorrow cover album or album cover you'll see what i'm talking about oh what the fuck you guys gotta listen to this you guys gotta listen to this all right you guys gotta listen to the you guys gotta listen to the concert if you guys want to hear what it sounds like fully it reminds me a little bit of a we can't be friends by uh, ariana i can't wait for the new album bro what an exciting weekend no no pun intended but like just stuff going on man all right, so we're at a barbershop right now. There's like this shoe and like blazer place or like right next to it. And I think it's fire. Bro, do I, if I want to look like The weekend, this is it. One fit. Oh, what? Holy sh**. That's a good price. All right, so the the heads or tails that we're going to be doing. No, I have the coin. I have a coin. You have a coin? Have okay. A... All right, let's do tails. No, no. I go, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw it and I'm going right. to pick on the air. Whatever. All right. Tail. <laughs> this is the one I'm buying. Yo, yeah, boss, 150. You can okay. count it too if you want. It's all good. It's that money coming in, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> huh? Cambodia. He's from Cambodia. I'm from North. 
Like North Korea? Yeah, on south side of the No, like I'm on like the border. Like me and that one security guard are like cool. That's why he lets me through. Huh? I'm too old for that, bro. He's too old. I'm on welfare, so I can't do that. That's why I'm on man. Have a good day. Take it easy. Got the car taken care of today. Like it feels great now. It feels great to drive this now. And all right, yeah. Congratulations, big guy. And now we got the weekend like concert and stuff, and it was it was fun to watch. So far, I haven't finished it all yet. And then now I've got a thing of shoes. You try to let me. Oh, bro. He's playing hardest to love. Oh my god. Yeah, 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 yeah. Forget the near and different beds. I know it's hard to let me go. Him doing hardest to love is. Oh. But I got you beside me And if I held you back, at least I held you close Should've known you were lonely My heart, my heart, my heart And he's doing savory tears, bro Yeah, 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 yeah. I like a pro, but you're really a novice. 